My cousins have a Yorkie, and I feel like with this hairstyle, that's what I'm looking like right now. And I don't give a damn for my bad reputation. After about seven years on the internet, I have decided that enough is enough. I'm going to speak freely about many, many things, if you know what I'm saying. I guess I forgot to say greetings internet. Greetings internet, it's Katie, hi, welcome to this video. Before we get started with what I'm about to talk about today, I want us to cleanse, really just, you know, be at ease with ourselves as we're about to dive into some, you know, very controversial subjects. I think sex is a conundrum. That massive elephant in the room that no one, you know, feels like really touching. Nearly all the videos I've seen about sex on the internet are made by people who are much older than I am. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like, you know, as you get older, you get wiser. But, you know, why is it that people my age are so scared to talk about sex on the internet? Some might disagree with this, and, you know, that's even kind of the beautiful part about it, is that, you know, there are so many opinions these days. We live in a day and age where the LGBT community is thriving and dancing in the streets. There's rainbow colors everywhere. People are so proud to be, you know, how they are. There's all this stuff circulating in the media where people are speaking out on certain things and politics and, you know, people these days are so proud and they're so willing to share their opinions with everyone regardless of whether people are going to agree or disagree. This is kind of an opener to a new series in my channel. Or it's not really a new series, it's kind of a continuation of a series that I had last summer on my channel. I think it was just last summer. You guys might remember my TMI series I talked about hair removal, periods, cellulite. So I decided to continue that series into this summer and continue my conversation on all the things no one else wants to talk about on the internet that I'm gonna talk about because I'm comfortable with myself. One last thing I do need to say, uh, please refrain from being nasty in the comments. It's one thing to express your opinion. I'm living my life the way I'm living my life and I'm totally open to hearing how you live your life, but if you start telling me how to live my life, we got a problem. Okay. When I film a video, it is like, you know, what's that thing that killed off all the dinosaurs, the meteor? It's like a meteor hit my room. There's just stuff everywhere. First question, Iris Kukut, oh god, I'm gonna butcher that. Your opinion on bras and hashtag free the nipple. I simply cannot remember the last time I wore a bra. I, I really can't. Like, I, I bralettes are different, because I feel like bralettes kind of just hold your boobs there, kind of like boob holders. But bras are more like boob holders with the underwire that cuts into your skin and pushes your tits up and like, Sorry, I hate when people say tits, but sometimes it just comes to mind. I attribute this partially to the fact that I watch a lot of Sex in the City, and I swear to God, Carrie Bradshaw does not own a bra, despite the fact that the first three letters of her last name spells bra. I don't understand why it's such a shock that females have nipples. Most of the time, you can't really tell. Like, you can't really tell I'm not wearing a bra right now, can you? I guess. If I was wearing a bra, I'd be more like that, you know? Next question we are going to answer. Um, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Addressing the general public watching this video, what are your thoughts on me making a whole video about sex? I'd really like to open the conversation entirely to all things sex, but I really don't know what you guys want to hear about. So please comment down below, A, if you want a video all on sex, and B, what specifically you want to know. 18 going, 18 going on 19? I'm old for my grade. I think I was 18 going on 19 when I lost my virginity. I'm losing track of the years, guys. Ah! Anyway, you know, there's that one quote from The Breakfast Club. Um, that the one girl in the basket case says, if you have done it, you're a whore, but if you haven't done it, you're a prude. You know, it's a trap. To me though, no matter how cliche this sounds, because I know cliches are so freaking dumb, but it is true, age is simply a number. If you know, you know. Another cliche, I just threw another one in there. God, I hate cliches, guys, but I, I sometimes you just have to say them, okay? Sometimes they're real. Some of them are dumb, like everything happens for a reason. I hate myself for saying that, honestly, because I, I definitely have said it before. Sometimes things do not have a reason, they just happen. That's the way I see it. I know you didn't want to hear that, uh, but sue me. I love that someone asked me my preferred condiments. <laughs> So TMI, catch up. Okay, Larissa Garone asks, how do you deal with people who dislike you? And how do you keep your head up while being yourself when people are bringing you down? Excellent question. I actually just answered this in full detail on my blog, which I have been updating quite frequently, a couple times a week maybe. TheKatieProject.com, check it out. I just made a post recently all about this subject of people disliking you, people you know, hating on you for X, Y, and Z. Uh, the way I see it though, it is none of my business what you think of me. I'm all about people, you know, following me on social media and seeing what I'm up to and, you know, watching my videos if you want to. Like, I make them for you guys and for me. It's kind of an outlet for me as well, but I do make them for you guys. On YouTube and in life, 
You know, what you people, everyone besides me, thinks of me is none of my business. If I give a shit about everything that everyone says about me, I'm gonna drive myself mad. I'm going to have absolutely no hobbies and no interests and no life because I'm gonna be so obsessed and so crazed at the notion that people care about what I'm doing. You know, if people are talking about you, whether it's <laughs> if they support you or don't support you, think you're wearing a cute outfit or think your outfit is trash, they're wasting moments of their life where they can be doing something valuable talking about you. You know, I'm out doing my life, living my life, having fun, you know, doing me, while you're sitting at home talking shit about me while I'm having fun. So who's the real winner here, you know? Don't change anything you're doing because if you're doing it, chances are you want to do it and it makes you happy and it makes you feel fulfilled. So don't change what you're doing, change how you're feeling about what you're doing. Maria wants to know, biggest turn off you've experienced from a guy. First thing, I don't love dirty talk. It's one thing to have like an occasional thing, you know, whispered in your ear, like whatever, you know, like cute, like very minimal, very sparing amount. Very big turn off. I have once run from a boy's house, like literally left his room, sprinted across campus with no shoes on and a bright red dress. I distinctly remember this moment because I was so weirded out by his dirty talk. I just couldn't do it. What are your views on religion? Are you still practicing Christianity? I really wasn't gonna answer this question in this video, but I know that it's gonna be brought up in the comment section now that I've mentioned sex. So I need to address a few things. I am such a supporter of the whole institution of religion. I think religion is a beautiful thing. You know, believing so strongly in something or someone you know, I think it's a really beautiful thing and really great things can come of it. I've seen so much. I volunteered at religious camps in the past. I love talking to my friends about what they believe. It's inspiring. But I feel like religion is such a personal thing. In my mind, I feel like talking about it or me putting a stamp on what I believe, you know, I don't want anyone else to look at me and think, Katie believes this, so I have to believe this. Religion is such a personal journey, and I feel like each of us define our own paths in terms of religion. And I know what I believe, but I don't necessarily think that it'd be valuable to push it on anyone else. You know, I believe what I believe, you believe what you believe. If you feel lost and don't know what you believe, my suggestion is give each sort of religion a different little taste, figure out what's right for you, and, you know, do that. I don't think that I should be a factor in what you believe. As I said when I opened this video, I understand people aren't going to agree with me all the time, and that's totally fine, but please respect, you know, how I feel on this matter and that I don't want to talk about it on the internet. So, I'm losing that door. Okay. Next question is, Katie, are you a feminist? Feminist feminism is very hard to ignore. There's been a lot in the media, online, lots of just influences in general, that have been swirling about, you know, kind of connotating feminism as being a bad thing or being something you should be ashamed of. Here's what I have to say about that. My personal beliefs are as follows. I believe in equality. Females and males should be equal in all respects. They should be like this. I don't think any one should be above the other. I think we should all be equal. You know what that means? I'm a feminist. The word feminism means equality. The entire institution of feminism means that you believe that women and men should be equal. If you believe that women and men should be equal, you are a feminist. You know, I'm not an extremist, nothing against people who are. I'm not gonna grow out my armpit hair and dye it weird colors. Females and males should be equal. It's the 21st century, come on. I feel like everyone should feel that way. I feel like these days people think that feminists have to look a certain way. This is me and I'm a feminist. There we have it, folks. I just uncanned a whole huge massive barrel of worms. A lot of people are going to probably go ham in the comment section below, you know, retorting everything that I said. Um, but I feel like that's healthy. We are a society that is comfortable in voicing our opinions, and I think that is extraordinary. Go at it. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos like this, so no matter what the comment section says, I am going to carry on. I'm going to exit this video on a positive front with that one song that I love so much. See you next week. I don't give a damn about my reputation.